to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Reversible changes, irreversible changes. In this video, we will learn about reversible and irreversible changes. Reversible changes means that any changes made can be reversed. Changing states of matter are always reversible. For example, chocolate melts when it's warm and it sets hard when it's cold. Boiling water evaporates as steam and then it condenses back as water. So these are examples of reversible changes. So even when the state of matter is changed, it can still be changed back to its original. When different materials are mixed together, they can usually be separated again. There are four processes for separating mixtures. When a solid is mixed with a liquid, the process can be reversed by filtering. This process consists of moving a mixture through a filter. This can usually be a paper filter containing small holes. When the mixture is poured through the filter, the liquid passes through the filter and the solid does not pass the filter. Therefore, we can separate out the solid and the liquid. When solids are mixed together, the process can be reversed by sieving. A sieve is a tool with a net attached that has holes. Sieves can come in different sizes. When the mixture is placed on the sieve, the smaller solids pass through the sieve, helping to separate out larger solids from smaller solids. When a soluble solid is mixed with a liquid, it will dissolve in the liquid to form a solution. For example, when salt is dissolved in water, it forms a salt solution. The process of dissolving can be reversed by evaporation and condensation. Evaporation consists of heating the salt solution. This leaves behind the solid salt and the water turns into water vapour. Condensation consists of cooling the water as it evaporates. Irreversible changes. Irreversible changes means the changes can't be undone and a new material is formed. Now let's look at some examples. Burning. An example of this is burning wood. When wood is burned, it becomes ashes and cannot be changed back into wood. Rusting metal. When a metal is exposed to oxygen and water for long enough, a reaction called oxidization occurs. This causes the metal to rust. Heating food. For example, cooking an egg in a pan. The cooked egg can't be reversed back to a raw egg. Mixed ingredients. For example, if you're making bread, you'll have to mix all of the ingredients to make dough. Once the ingredients are all mixed together, they can't be separated, as now the ingredients have permanently changed. So these are all examples of irreversible changes. Once a change occurs, we can't reverse back to the original material because now a new material has formed.